Volcarona is currently being suspect tested in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet OU tier and may be banned. It's one of the strongest win conditions due to the combination of Quiver Dance plus Terrestrialization, which can allow easy setup in combination with Fiery Dance, boosting its special attack. And Terra Blast has fantastic coverage, allowing it ways of nuking Heatran with Terra Ground, or Pokemon like Dragapult and Gouging Fire with Terra Dragon. But should Volcarona be banned from the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet OU tier? Let me know down below what you think, as today we start our suspect test rex. So Volcarona is being suspect tested, which means we're going to be starting our suspect test run. This is my first game on the ladder. Look at my opponents. It's crazy how, you know, ladder culture has changed throughout the years. But we're going to do our best. Shout out to Maverick Shooters who passed me this team. It's made by CTC, but edited by CERN. And yeah, let's start off with Landers. I got Taunt and I got Earth Power. So that seems pretty decent into most of my opponent's team. Uh, this could knock, I suppose, my Rocky Helmet. But... Getting up rocks, I like. I can obviously taunt Gliscor as well and stop that. In terms of beating this team, Volcarona is okay with Terra Steel Quiver Dance with the Bug Buzz, but they do have the Clods Eye. Uh, we'll taunt this, that way I can't Toxic or get up Hazard itself. Perfect. I'm switching into this mod is not going to be the easiest thing, but it may just be Toxic, Earthquake, Protect, Hazards. Exactly. So, what I can do now is... I th that is not the mod I went to bring out. I meant to bring out Dark Rye there, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it'll be okay. I'll go out of pre Marina this turn. <laughs> I definitely meant to bring out Dark Rye. Uh, what I wanted to do is because this is not subcom mine pre Marina, I'm going to see if I could use it to beat the Claude and everything like that. So I'll go for Calm Mine here. This could be unaware, but even if it goes for that, I don't care too much because we just throw off some psychic noises and we do have the draining kiss as well so we'll be able to stop most of class recovery for the most part yeah i'm assuming this i don't think that's unaware that did way too much that is not a switch in as well yeah that is not a switch get a nasty crit maybe we'll get an insta forfeit too that being gone is so good for dark Ride as well i don't have focus blast and dark Ride looks insane with clefable at 55 let's find out they go for amnesia Encore them into that. That way they have to click it forever. And... Yeah, I mean, King Gambit looks insane, but I don't have enough deaths to actually do too much damage, I think, to their team. Uh, so I think I'm going to go Dragonite. Just because I can threaten them with one Earthquake and then go from there. And I don't care if Clefable comes out. It's going to take a good chunk of damage. 32 is insane. Bro, Clef took everything. Yeah, that's just like, I feel like... Obviously, that's the difference between them on this part of the ladder and them higher up on the ladder. But yeah, we're going to try and go 30-0. That's always my goal. Or at least try to get as many wins as possible with some fire stuff. But I think this time we're actually going to be using serious teams the entire time. Typically, I load up the Haxorus or whatever. And I will acquire Rex. I will. But I also want to get more familiar with OU, at least current OU. And I think that laddering is the best way to do it, literally, no matter what part in the ladder. I think you just keep climbing up and up and because you, you'll see like sometimes 1300 will be high, uh, harder to win in than the 1700s. And 100% 15 to 1600s is harder to win in than the 18, 1900s, in my personal opinion. But let's get into the game. What do you guys think about Volcarona? I'm kind of leaning towards no Ben. I'll be honest. Normally I'm indifferent, but I think that like in the OU tier, probably the, the number one scariest Pokemon for me would have to be Ogre Pond. Uh, whereas for Volcarona, right, I don't think it's that hard to slide a Dragonite on a team or a King Gambit, which are viable checks to Volk currently. Oh my God, look at all these scissors and all these, all these, hey, <laughs> one of these is not like the other. <laughs> Anyway, I think I'm going to get up rocks and lead off with my taunt Pokemon. Scyther is a problem, but I, I, if I don't win this game with Dragonite, I, I, I'm quitting Pokemon. Especially because they're not max speed on their Scyther. What if they're defensive? I do not want them defogging since it's one of the, uh, the few mons that still has defog in the moment. Did you guys know that Krogno lear learns defog? It's one of my favorite Pokemon. I didn't even know it got defog. It's wild, but yeah. Anyway. That's my thoughts on Volcarona. I, I do think like Ogre Pond is a little bit di uh, more difficult to punish just because uh, you can't punish it defensively with items like Rocky Helmet and stuff just because of Ivy Cudgel. Um, whereas Volk, again, there's... I, I just think it's not... You know, it's not a Mon that cooks like it used to. Also, I think that Volcarona wins this game, personally. Oh, that was a really nice speed tie to lose. Hell yeah. I'm going to just literally Terra Steel and Quiver Dance. And then hopefully win the game. 
They went for X's or there. I'm going to go for substitute now. <laughs> Let's see if they have CZ. Perfect. All right. We're flamethrower, not fire dance, but we should win the game right here, right now. But I understand that other people might be thinking differently and they might be like, oh, well, what about Terra? And they were talking about Terra Blast. You know what I'm more excited about? I'm more excited about the fact that Solgaleo might be coming down to OU after this suspect test. And that is extremely cool because I have been talking about that Mon forever. And I'm so hyped to potentially be able to try it. There's also other Mons that might be tested too. I know Palafin is something they're talking about as well. They were talking about Annihilate. They can keep Annihilate up there. Palafin, I'm like... Would it even be broken right now in Ogre Pond meta? Personally, I'm, again, I'm just thinking like, I'm trying, I'm thinking out loud. I know it might sound stupid, but I've been like pondering that for a, a little while. And like in Sun meta with Walking Way, Gouging Fire, like would it even be the same Mon it was before? <laughs> you got me, you got me. You only pick X Scissor. I just realized their name. Um, I, you know what? Those are your convictions. You, you do your thing. You stick to what you believe in. Real quick, if y'all didn't know, I currently do have my Meteor Burst available and my Draco Ice Shaker. There's only about 40 Draco Ice Shakers left, so if you want to pick it up, use code AIM20. That AIM20 will be 20% off until my subathon ends. We managed to go from like three, four hours last night to like eight hours, and now it's about like, uh, I think, a five and a half hour timer. So... Um, yeah, that might be today, might be the last day, tomorrow might be the last day, who knows, or it just continues. But if you want to pick up my flavor, Meteor Burst, hydration, zero caffeine, zero calories, zero sugar, it tastes like Skittles. I love it personally. We'll pause it, get another one, bear it back. Oh, wait, no. Also, if you, the, the Draco bundle comes with the Pokeam exclusive card. Oh, we got one versus the standard sun. Um, that is extremely threatening. That I think is more threatening. That it's so scary. Oh my God. And my Terra Steel Volk is not, it's not bad, but it's not great. Hmm. I mean, you're phenomenal here. Like, actually. I wish this was Sash Dark Rat on this build. Yeah. Okay, so Primarina is the the one in this game. Uh, I'll just go Dark Rat. I want the chip. I don't think Dark Rat is actually going to be doing much just because it doesn't have Focus Blast. If it did have Focus Blast, it would be a different story. Uh, but we'll go for the uh, the Dark Pulse on Torkoal. Torkoal probably ends up going for Rocks and then pivoting into Hatterene and going from there. Uh, I just have to try not to lose to these two. Because the combination of those two is very, very strong. Big damage, big damage. You know, I'll nasty plot up. I don't care about being Lava Plume Burnt. I could obviously Dark Pulse here. I'm going to try and go for the immediate kill on Hatterene as opposed to the Pivot. If I can, yeah, because Hatterene's obviously coming out. This extra bell boosted. Perfect. I don't want them to have an extra Pivot for later or a Healing Wish that, you know, I get greedy and they can take advantage of that later. All right, Tuskathy comes out. You can go ahead and pick up the KO right now. I have to be extremely careful into this mon. Like, ridiculously careful into this mon. Um, though I do think you eat this hit, and then I can just drain and kiss all the health back. We'll see. I, again, I, I don't actually use much Primarina. And I know it's such a giant threat in the OU tier. I, I do not use much Primarina at all. I really don't. I don't mess around with uh, this mon. I, I have nothing against it. It's a sick mon. But I just don't be using it. It's just not my thing. Okay, Sub Quiver is good. So I think I can afford to switch into Landorus just to try and get off an Intimidate. This is going to cook me. This is going to absolutely cook me. Yep. Absolutely cooked. But we are setting up for that. We are setting up for that end game of uh, Primarina beating Walking Wake. But more importantly, the, uh, the King Gambit. Eh, King Gambit just helps beat that. We're setting for that Volcarona end game though. That Volcarona end game looks nasty. Volcarona looks really good real soon. And again, Primarina kind of just cooks everything on the team. So, see if we can get a Hurricane off. They might just Ice Spinner. They do end up going for Bulk Up. Let's see if we land this Hurricane. We do not. Let's go. Let's go. And now I have to cook. I have to eat this. I basically lost, which is really unfortunate. I do eat the Headlong Rush. Yeah, and they're minus one. Uh, but... Exactly. I don't actually end up killing them, which is unfortunate. What we can do, though, is we can sack King Gambit here as they go Torkoal. Oh, this is actually... I think this is better for me, right? Yeah, I just need... I need Chip on something. They didn't go for Rapid Spin, so I guess I'm in an okay spot with that Mon. So that's beautiful Chip. They KO me there. I'd rather them KO me, and I waste an extra Sun turn by doing this play. So I'm going to Swords Dance. 
Walking Weight comes out. Cool. I will be getting my chip on them with Sucker Punch. Amazing for Volcarona. We're going for that end game, uh, that end game Volk Sweet, I guess. This little Hydro Steam. Gonna assume that this doesn't do as not, as much as I, I'm I'm fearing it to do. Cause they could definitely tear right here. They could for sure. Yeah, they definitely they definitely could have tear it here. That hurricane miss was rough, man. That hurricane miss was rough. Having like Dragonite in the end game and everything would have been good. Great Tuskathy comes out. No. Yeah, I'm about to say no. I don't know why they went to that. They they saw plus one damage. So I mean they gave me some Pokemon. Hell yeah. Uh, I don't know if they're faster or not is the problem, but I'll go for Psychic Noise. That way they can, uh, I guess Training Kiss is, it's the same thing. 75 versus 50. Yeah, yeah, this is halved. I mean, I don't die in one to Sucker. The thing is they haven't Terra yet is the problem. They Terra Fly here. And Kowtow. And now I have to outplay every Sucker Punch in the world, which is so annoying. Yeah, good game. That was a very uh, unfortunate loss. And it actually hurts a lot because very early on, losing messes you up later. But that's Hurricane for you. I tried to use it. It didn't work out. I, I couldn't really hit the... I guess I could have terra in front of that thing to live Iron Head. And then encore it to lock it into Iron Head. And I suppose Volcarona could have won. This is a Volcarona game, like a Volcarona game and a half. But yeah, it sucks to lose so early in Rex. I might have to make a new account because the GXE gets so messed up. It's crazy. It gets so messed up. It's fine though. Even if I have to go like 33, 33 and uh, whatever, I'll, I'll go with that. I don't care. So get a rock. Uh, get a rocks up here. They have the knockoff. Come. Mm. Also, Dark Rye goes stupid right now, too. So we'll go Rye. Wait, what? Stealth Rock knockoff, U turn, Earthquake? I guess no protect. Ambitious. Very ambitious. Speed boost is wild. I don't care. You're spinning or you have Hell on Rush. Speed boost doesn't run. Speed boost rarely, if ever, runs close combat. So uh, we'll go you again. Brick break. I don't know my bricks. We're knocking them out Earth Power. We do live in Ice Spinner. I would go for rocks, like greedily, because it does open up Dragonite, but eh. I mean, especially because this Gliscor doesn't have protect, right? Yeah, you're whatever. You're actually whatever. Bring out Dragonite on you. Not the Terra Grass Giga Train. <laughs> whatever, I'll go for game. Even though, even though Dragapult's definitely faster. Yeah, good job, Dragapult. You deserved it. <laughs> All right, regardless of what they do, I think Primarina is the, the play. Perfect. And how do I not get messed up by this Serp? I mean, the fact that they Terra opens up a lot, but them being Dragon Darts also makes it a little scary. Because I don't have to worry about Golden Go becoming a fairy type in this game. I can do this. Pot the Balloon. We go you, we get up rocks, which I think is all I need to win the game with Quiver Dance Volcarona. Oh, perfect. Knock me out. Oh, like actually knock me out. I appreciate it. Cool. I will refuse to believe you have Thunder Wave and I'm not gonna play around worse option, especially on the low ladder, <laughs> which, which you definitely should, by the way. Don't listen to me. You for sure should. <laughs> you for sure should. This is banded as hell. All right, I'm just going to get my Flamethrower, which will 2 KO them. Or not. They're not banded. What the hell? I don't know if they're Infiltrator, though, versus Clear Body. Did this ever come in on me? <laughs> just quivered again. If the Dragon Dance is into Phantom Force. All right, we're good. Yeah, we win. We, we're, we literally win. There's no way that came. Yeah, I know I, I know what type I am. But do you know what type you are? <laughs> I love this part of lateral because you never, it's always like, oh, what are they thinking? I remember playing like this when I was, when I first started too. But also I feel like, I don't know. 
I think it is easier to get into the game now than it was way back then. I mean, you know, Gen 2, Gen 3. Oof. Heatran. Ogre Pawn. Dragon Eye, I need you to work overtime here, buddy, because you look good. You know who else looks good? Darkrai. Darkrai looks phenomenal. I'm starting with it. I'm assuming this guy is going to give up because they lost, so I'm not really paying attention to that game. But yeah, Dark Red looks phenomenal. Just good speed tier. Um, it's not going to kill like Heatran and stuff, but it lets me Dark Pulse and stop Glamora lead, and it also lets me at least threaten the... threaten Dark Red potentially with a Focus Blast, even if it doesn't actually do it. This guy, no way it lives this. <laughs> Yo! But then I don't... Do they not... They don't have Earthquake. <laughs> Oh, I've ran Earthquake list Glide score in a few metas. It is not this this situation has probably happened way too much. You think they have sucker? Alright, I don't care. I get the red car, which is unfortunate. Because the T-spike is actually annoying into me. We'll go you. Live every hit and throw off another dark pulse, and that's game with that one. Perfect. Dark Pulse did a lot of damage. I don't mess around with Dark Ride too much either these days. This is all prep for World Cup, even though I'm most likely subbing in UU. This is all, all prep for the World Cup game, so don't worry. I will be returning to tournaments. Blunder winning the tournament has uh, has given me a little bit of motivation. It's bad timing, because I'm going to be moving in the subathon and everything, but it's given me a little bit of, uh, a little bit of motivation. Anyway, I don't think they really have any, very many switch-ins. Um... And getting rid of Glamora goes such a long way. I'll pause it though till they make a move. We'll be right back. My opponent makes a crazy play and goes hard golden go. Hell yeah. Hell, we take those. And it was on a balloon. I, I don't even know what they're going to now. Also, Landorus plus Glamora. Hmm. Are you going to be randomly Scarf? I, was, I don't know why they went golden go there. I really don't. I, I guess it's not the greatest into my team. I suppose. It's a good Dragonite check though. Because you actually suffer very hard into Dragonite. It's it's really, really good into you. Alright, Dark Ride just to focus blast. They could also sludge bomb though as a thing. I'll sludge bomb myself. Cause it can poison. Yep. I'd rather poison them. They also get cooked by Oof, big damage. Hmm. Life four, which means they probably have attack to hit me. I don't think E Speed kills them without terrestrializing. And do I want to tear it here this early? I mean, I guess technically Vulcan Run is not that great. They have a Heatran. So I'll just go Vulcan and just click Bug Buzz. Hits Heatran without having to give it a uh, Flash Fire, which is annoying. I guess also Primarina, like the second it comes out, it's good. So this is great. They basically did the same thing as me, right? It's a good Mon. It gets off a little bit of damage. They get off a Poison. But I think I got out of there good because two Mons down and Glamora at 40. This would be a game where if I had Terra Ground with this Bug Buzz set for attacks, it'd be over. All right, Heatran is annoying. We're actually setting up for King Gambit. Everything is set up for King Gambit, to be fair. Literally everything is set up King Gambit is 100% fair. Everything sets it up. If I calm mine, I can't do anything. I'm just going to Drain Kiss. See what I can do from there. Earth Power doesn't do anything to me. If they tear a grass... I'm just... The only Mon I, I am like worried about is Landers, but I have to... I have my own that can pivot, which is great. And also, would they Ivy Cudgel first? Okay, a couple calm minds, and I could actually smack this too. I think this is a Volcarona sack, though. Even if they SD, I think this is a Volcarona sack. Yeah, it would have been nice too. <laughs> I'm not switching hard in Dragonite either. I'm not. Um, yeah, we're, we're opening up for that King Gambit for sure, especially because my Dragonite is coming out next. Hopefully, they're not U turn so they don't get the free break for no reason actually you're better right now i don't think t-spike actually do matter as much as i'm thinking don't be random superpower do not be random superpower please just give me this kowtow hit because i want i'm gonna use i'm gonna use king gambit to open for dragonite as opposed to using every mon to open for king gambit aka ou it does give glamora t-spike which is annoying they do terra water does this actually kill me yeah, i'm about to say like, I'm a gambit. All right, perfect. They got rid of their terror, which means I can always Earthquake this. I can always hit this Pokemon too. And if Landers comes out, I can switch. Um, 
And if this comes out, I, I just psychic noise forever. So I'm chilling. I guess I could technically even just go out to my own Lando here. But it's a good pivot into there, Lando. That way I don't let Primarina take the hit. You'd have to earth power that threat anyway. Exactly. All right, so I'm going to ignore this and get up rocks just to get more chip on Lando. Even though Lando is going to come out, I can taunt Lando. It can't, like, random Swords Dance into Terra. Wild guy. Wild. I, I mean, I, I, I respect it. You're fighting back. I respect it. Can't really touch Lair Landers anyway, so I guess it's a, it's a free play almost. Guy like me, though, would have missed every single... I feel like... Wait, why would you not go hard Landers after that? Now, they just sat Glamour... They, hmm. I'm Are they going for game? <laughs> they going for game? <laughs> I just stand until I die. Literally. I click taunt until I go down. Until they take enough Rocky helmet. Quite literally. Just, yeah, there you go. Go ahead and knock me out. Get yourself weakened. It's just taunt forever. There you go. Appreciate that. All right, we bring out you, click that psychic noise, and we get another win. It again, it really sucks to lose so early because it does mess you up in the later game, but um, it happens. Trick Room isn't what I want to see, but I think Sub the Homie is really, 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 really good. Like, very good. I'm going to lead off a Primarina because I figured it's going to be, well, I thought it'd be the Hatterene lead. I'll be completely honest, but we're going to go Landers here. Just to pivot around. They're going to go for some Leech Seed set. That's completely fine. Uh, I, I have no idea what attack they went for there. Oh. They went for the Trick Room. No. Hmm. I'll go Gambit. Just because I don't care too much about this. Exactly. And I'll go for an Iron Head. I'm assuming they're going to end up sacking this. Doesn't work, buddy. Uh, just to get in something like Iron Hands. Yeah. That's fine, though. There's the Iron Hands. I am definitely getting Ice Punched here. But I can't have them Drain Punching this. I'm going to go Landers anyway. That's cool. I feel like I'm fighting in VGC. <laughs> Alright. Awesome. They're going to Ice Punch here. We're going to U-turn around. Go Primarina. On Ice Punch and then Encore them into that. I was going to say in my head as we get frozen sarcastically, but it ended up happening. So that's very sad because Primarina is really good in this game. It's all right. We'll do our best to pivot. Let's go. I'm actually going to go for rocks here. And this will work for me. I knew it would work for me. <laughs> Let's go. I knew it would work for me. All right. So in order to do this, we have to bring out the Volcarona now. And then we have the damage we need on Iron Hands. For plus one flamethrower, question mark, maybe. I'm going to quiver in front, and then I'm going to go for substitute. I think they missed the explode here. Uh, they could have side shock, I suppose, too, but I'll live, and that'll put me in swarm. They do have the expanding force. Interesting. Terra steel. I am going to tear here, just because... I want to live the next one. Basically, I want to be in Swarm. No, this guy came out. Hyperspace goes through, right? I'll be back. They went for Drain, but... I hate the ladder. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Uh, I'll bring out Volk. Good game. Did I lose? Oh. You never know, man. You never know. Let's get another one. Nasty team over there. I like it, though. I like it. Uh, webs up are annoying. Cannot stop webs at all. Hmm. But substitute on you is phenomenal. So, Dark Rye, because webs are definitely going up, I can't Dark Pulse flinch them. I can't do anything like that just because of their ability. I'll just go for Sludge Bomb, bring them down to their Sash. Maybe they'll go for Stun Spore and miss. That would be quite literally the best case scenario there. Yeah, that would have been the best case scenario there. Go for another Sludge because we know they're going to set it up anyway. There's no point in revealing that I'm not choice in some sort of way. Um, Orga Pond's a threat. You're a threat. I, I mean, I, I will say... 
The self webs with the gambit. Oh, with the fire boosting. Wait. It doesn't work that way with the fine, I thought. What am I thinking of? That you can't do something with your, your own... I'm thinking of something where you can't do something with your own webs. You can't core change something. Let's find out if I'm wrong about this. I, I thought that it doesn't activate Defiant if it's your own stuff. What am I thinking about? We did this with... This was Generation 8. I guess it... What am I thinking about? Did they change it? Someone knows what I'm thinking about. I, me? I don't. But someone definitely does. Anyway. Bug Buzz is free. They can only tear a grass. So, uh, that was free. But what, am I, what was I thinking about? Nobody would know. Nobody ever knows. It's fine. We'll go Lando here. They calm mine up. I'm going to taunt them and get hit with a Dragon Pulse crit, which is super unfortunate because I may or may not be cooked by this mon right this instant. I may or may not be cooked by this mon right this instant. We're going to get as much damage as possible, though. Now, luckily, they don't... They don't go for the crit on this turn, which is really, really nice. And let's see if we can beat King Gambit with our King Gambit versions. I think sub Volcarona looks crazy, though. And Primarina obviously having the... Ooh, White Herb. That's sick. I'm going to go Primarina and Encore there. Encore them into that. Fine by me. Let's go for Psychic Noise. Let him KO me. I'm going to quiver up because I can sub in front of Golden Go. Because ne the next time they switch, my King Gambit will be faster than them. Exactly. So we should be able to sub here just in case they're random Thunder Wave, but we should also live a Shadow Ball. Really? Oh, they plotted there too. Give me that. Another King Gambit loss. Uh, no, oh my god, they got me. Well, I mean, Iron Head first and regular is the play for sure. Don't go for Iron Head yourself. Oh, I hate this. I hate King I hate these end games with King Gambit. Go ahead and swords dance up all you want. I'm I'm clicking all six of these. I hope you know I'm clicking all six of these. I'm, I'm clicking literally all six of these. Maybe I shouldn't click all six of these now. Ah, I hate this. This is the worst series. <laughs> I hate I hate this endgame so much. Their team is so cool too. Their team is so cool. Ah, good game. I knew they were gonna do it that turn. I knew they were gonna do it too, but I couldn't tell. But, oh, I hate the psychology behind sucker punches. I really do. Uh, that would have been so crazy though to win that reverse. Damn it, man. That's really, that's, this is actually really bad for my Rex. I might have to legitimately start a new account. But, we can keep going though. Combine. Alright, this is, like, it looks like a Combine Premier 6-0. They do have strong hits like Poltergeist and stuff like that. Man, I should have always, I think, subbed once more with Volcarona anyway. Even if they did Kalatau, because I could still stall out more. My Gambit not having low kick though hurt. That was a rough loss. This has been a rough life for me, man. That's why we're getting back into OU. All them, all them Rattatas and Magnemites. That's like the best turn one you could ever ask for, I think, with a Darkrai into Glamora lead. The other would be them being level 50 in that killing, I guess. Ah, uh, King Gambit, I'll be scarred for life. By you. Hmm. Landorus, I believe, should always be the pivot into this. This is why people are using Taunt Earth Power. Okay. 
I'm gonna just ignore this Pokemon now. I don't know why it's Terrastalized, and I don't know why what's this like infatuation with Brick Break on the ladder right now. Stop it, please. I don't think any no mon should ever run Brick Break <laughs> unless it's like a draft league tech. And even now we have Psychic Fangs and Raging Bull. Get this out of here, please. You left something at home, Gliscor. It's a Toxic Orb. Come back. Are you choice? Oh, it's Life Orb. Yo. Anyway, you turn uh, Aerial Lace, all that. Whatever they go for is going to put them in range of Dark Pulse so I can click that. I should try and poison them. It'd be a little helpful. Yeah, we go for Dark Pulse here. Never Ice Beam in this situation, right? Because Dark Pulse will always kill. They can't Terra. It doesn't matter. But I guess, but if they could have terra in theory, <laughs> not here, but if they could have, don't Ice Beam in that situation, right? This guy. This damn Zamazenta. Right, I'm going to calm mind up and win the game with uh, Primarina after this. Once I get the Intimidate off. Why are they playing this like a Zacian? Then again, Zamazenta does kind of feel like that sometimes. Alright, let's go for a game. I'm gonna get another game too. This is probably my roughest start. You know why? It's because I'm using serious stuff. I love this team. It's like a bunch of cool mons from every generation, right? No? Not really. Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 4, whatever generation you came out, Gen 4. I'm just kidding. It's crazy that Greninja... You know, it's crazy that the Kalos starters didn't get... I, I always thought it was crazy that the, the, the Kalos starters didn't get their, you know, their whole theme of their generation. But then we have, like, Mega Charizard and all that stuff. Just funny. Good speed tier here. Terrible start. I'm gonna get damage off on it, though. I'm actually so weak to Blaziken. If it sets up, I need Chip. There you go. Probably the best... Literally the best start. Um, no other mon does Landorus Wall <laughs> on this team. Go ahead and give me this mon. Hit me with the Poltergeist. They have the Shadow Claw, the old school. Damn, Poltergeist is so much more. God. All right, that game's over. It's actually the roughest start. I think, I think, I need to, I don't, I don't like losing this, like, offense from here. I, I feel like spikes or even just, like, some guard stuff. Don't worry, we'll fix this account. You have, once again, a good speed tier here. You can't really hit Weavile, though, but you're still like, strong into these guys. It's like they read my mind. Volcarona wins very easily. I got my chip. Another poison? There you go. There you go. Also, E-Speed's good, too. I think the only like giant threat on that team is like Mammoth Swan just because of the, the raw damage output of that demon. What if they tear Grass Trailblaze? I'm on a Sludge Bomb here too. Why is it called bad? It's such a fire mon, so disrespectful. Anyway, Psychic Noise into Draining Kiss, and I think that. <laughs> no. I never. I don't want to go Gambit because Gambit looks like it wins. I think Dragonite has... Then again, I guess E-Speed actually smokes every Maw on this team, huh? F Gambit. We're gonna E-Speed. I'm about to get hit with this lowest kick of all time. Byron hits strong into their team. I just need Chip on Greninja to put it in range of Dragonite. And Greninja, even if it has Sludge Wave, should be good. Okay. We Quiver... Are you Sucker Punch too? Okay, if they're Sucker Punch too, I just Dragon Nets up twice. So, that'll be okay. It'll be a shame, but it'll be okay. And if not, I'm chilling. I'm just gonna Terra, because I'm not about to get 60, six Water Shurikens versus me. There was no Water Shuriken to be found in the world. Damn it. Sub once. Yeah, I love Ice Shark for sure. I want to be in Swarm. Nice. Doesn't even, doesn't even break myself. Let's go. Finally, a Volcarona. It just took this long for a Volcarona sweep. Finally. And Mammal gets cooked too. Let's get another game. 
this is the type of team that it would take me a little bit, but I would definitely figure out how to use it. Like this looks like a Volcarona sweep too. Volk is so cool. I love Volk. What a cool mon. Zorak is annoying. Very annoying. Um. See, I don't know if you're Zorak or Electros, but I know that you're probably AV if you're Electros, so I'm going to go for Dark Pulse here. That's 100% of the play. Get my chip. Get as much damage as I can. That's not AV, that's for sure. It's going to go for some coil stuff. So we're going to bring out our Landers and go for Taunt on that. That takes so much damage. Good to know, though. I also think this is a pretty good Dragonite game, but I feel like most games are good Dragonite games. All right, we'll taunt them. Even if they go hat, that's fine. Let you turn out. Maybe they don't want me getting up. What's the... Why do they have Zorak plus... Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, if they have, like, an obscure item, like a ring target or something to, to help Electros. That's a Volcarona. I don't know if that actually is a Volcarona, but I'm going for rocks here. That's a Volcarona confirmed. Oh, God. Mmm. Should keep you alive. Primo. If they have... If, even if they quiver and do that stuff, Dragonite wins, right? If, they, if, they're, if they're the right set into Primarina, they're the wrong set into Dragonite. So Dragonite should be able to tank this. <laughs> An Earthquake into E-Speed. Show me this Terra Dragon. <laughs> Just switch. Yeah. Them not making themselves faster as well is, is good. I'm actually going to go for Dragon Dance here. Yeah, I'll take my I'll take my little speed here and get rid of this Volk. Them never quick and quiver dance is very funny. Give me that Mon. I, I will say, though, the end game versus King Gambit's not looking the greatest, but it'll be all right. As long as I don't get completely outplayed like I did earlier in this video, like completely outplayed, I'm good. I wonder what Mon this is. <laughs> Electros. I didn't notice. Come on, fam. You can't bring it out then. Like, if you're going to do that, you got to do it with hat, and then you got to be scarf, and then, you know, you got to do You got to bring out hat because they take the exact same amount from rocks. And you got to pretend to be scarf. Electros. I'm just going to assume this kills from there. Let them give me every Mon. I'm okay with them giving me every Mon. Not really, though, because it opens up Gambit. I think that this team... Without, because this team is a version of CTCs with Wisp. I think it should have Wisp. Let's get my chip. Yeah, I'm just trying to chip them that way. Even if they tear, I can beat them later. I'm just so I don't have to worry about that. Because now I just go you and click Earth Power. Because Dark Rye is at 100%. So Dark Rye can kill this if it terras and. Otherwise, I'll be good. Actually, do I taunt always here? No. What the hell? Psychic. Not the Zen headbutt. Mm. I want to be in a better position versus you. So... I go you at Dark. I, I don't want to let a Garchomp scale shot smoke me. And it gives me one fail safe intimidate. Or one, that's not fail safe, but one intimidate rather. Plus, I can Terra Poison. Extra Belt. I wonder how much this does. Doesn't do like 60 regular, so it'll be 1.5. Jeez. I, I think I lowballed it when I said 60. I don't, 60 regular might have legit have been low. Anyway, if they're Scarf Garchomp, they should not be able to win. They're the Yachi in 2000. Yo! This is just to guarantee that King Gambit, um, if they had scale shot or whatever, just to guarantee that King Gambit lives in Earthquake and can knock him out. That was wild. All this to be 1100. Yeah, we might have to make a new account um, and I'll probably ladder with this a different team and then keep going. I was going to do a bunch of serious stuff, but now Scarzik said he has to go during the week, so I had to give him a bunch of like panic thumbnails so that way or ideas. But yeah, I don't know. I'm still iffy about Volk. Gambit's so funny, dude. That game was so funny. Oh, man. It truly was. They got me, though. Um, 
Hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, sub. Feel free to check out my Meteor Burst. Like I said, we're gonna be playing a lot more OU on the channel too. Obviously, lower tier stuff with Rabia and a bunch of other friends, but um, I wanna play more OU as well. I gotta get more, I gotta get back into it. We're gonna play some high ladder OU as well with CTC and Blender too, just to get more into it. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.